This is a quick video on how to remove the cooling system from a refrigerator without uh, cutting the lines. Um, I had a lot of interest in it after building my fermentation chamber, so here is how I did mine. This is a Whirlpool 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, it's an older model. This one was made in 89, but I believe they made these for quite a few years. Um, uh, they were also made as ropers. Um, so there's lots of these out there available. Um, first thing, easiest thing to look for is it'll have the exposed coil back here. There will also be this rectangle cover right here on the back. And what that is, that is where the coil, the evaporator coil, has been turned sideways and slid in and then folded over running along the back of the inside of the freezer. That's what makes this model so easy to remove it as one assembly without cutting any lines. Yeah. <clears throat> and just to show you, this is a model ET16JK Whirlpool. Like there are many models that were made this same way. Um, I've already removed many of the screws to make this a little quicker. But what you look for in here, this is also how they'll look inside the freezer, the vent up top. But you'll just have four screws that hold the cover on right here. Once those are out, this cover just pulls right out. There's your coil and your fan. Holding the fan, there will just be four screws the corners. I've already removed those screws. You'll unplug it. This will come out as one assembly. You're going to want to keep that cover in that fan if you plan to build something similar to mine. Now you've got the coil here. It's a little difficult to see. Down underneath here, there's a hole right there, a screw hole where I've removed one screw. Another one over on this side. Sometimes right up inside here, there will be a screw there and a screw there, and it will be easy to see because the fins have been spread apart where those screws are at. This one, it just has a couple of plastic clips up in there that they're hanging on, so just removing those two screws on the bottom, it allows us to remove the coil with the defrost uh, burner still mounted and the, the uh, drain pan is still attached to the coil. Now we're not ready to remove it yet, but you can see here how flexible it is now. That can be moved. And you got your lines, your coolant lines running up through here. And that's what you're going to want to be careful when you're folding this coil over that you don't uh, kink it. Um, and before you can do that, you'll want to unplug up here. You've got wires running down to the defrost burner, to your bimetal sensor. You can either just remove the bimetal sensor from the coil or just unplug it. Either way, these just pull right out of there. And that is the only pieces that are attached to this coil. Now, this coil is basically free to be removed. Uh, you can see that rectangle slot right here. It's covered in some foil tape. That's all that is. It just peels right off of there and then it'll expose the opening back here. Now, I'm not completely uh, removing this system because this is still a working fridge. I just wanted to give everybody something to see how it was done. Um, so before you can remove the coil now you come around to the back. All that's going to hold the coil back here is a couple of these screws. Take those off. You can see the coil moves pretty free after that. Right now it's just resting down here in a couple of clips, so you'll spread those apart and then the coil can be lifted up and out. But for now just leave the coil kind of hanging there. You just don't want to kink all your refrigerant lines are coming down here. You don't want to you know, make any sharp bends and kink that. Once you've got the coil out of the way, you come up here, remove these covers. Again, I've already removed you know, all these screws around it. Uh, to make this a little quicker. We've got that one out. Pull this cover. 
now you can see just filled with foam. It's just a big piece of styrofoam. And what you'll do is pull this piece of foam out. Again, I'm not going to pull it out because this is still a working fridge, but that's all that's in between here and that foil tape. So once you've removed this, it's a wide open slot to take that coil that's sitting in there, fold it forward, and slide it back out through this hole. And this is your refrigerant line coming down. So you want to remove this clamp on it too. And just be careful not to kink anything. <clears throat> and, and you'll come down here, you'll have another clamp on the refrigerant line. Um, you'll have four bolts on the compressor. There'll be a couple more at the back there that hold that in. And your start capacitor as well. Disconnect your wire from the compressor right here. And that's basically it. The entire assembly will be free then, where you can slide the coil straight out the back there, slide the compressor out at the bottom, and the whole coil, everything is one assembly straight out the back. And just being careful not to kink anything.